to Keep Delicious Mess. Today we're going to be eating shrimp and grits. We're going to say our grace and then we're going to get into this mukbang. Thank you, Lord, for this meal that I have prepared. Thank you for everything I'm, you're doing in my life and bringing in my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. So, y'all will get this video today. <laughs> um, so, what I have for y'all is shrimp, kibasi, and grits and i'm going to put a video right here so that you guys can see this because right now all you see is almond <laughs> almond flour grits so let me put that video in right here but what we have is almond flour grits and I will put Keto Claxman's name down here at the bottom, who um, is on Instagram, and you can go to his highlights to see how to make these grits. I'm definitely not about to eat all these grits, but I wanted y'all to get the gist of it, and I think I overdid it. <laughs> so let's eat y'all, because I don't want this to get cold, and we're going to talk, y'all. I got some things to talk to y'all about. Mm. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get a thumbnail. But that's good. <laughs> Let me sit that right there. I'm going to see if I can do something. So y'all can see too. How's that? I think that's pretty good. I do too. I got some water back here. And I also have a Bella B. Bold Pineapple Strawberry. I get these at Aldi's, y'all. Y'all know I'm team Aldi's. I love Aldi's. Let's get into these grits and a piece of sausage. Everything, probably because the almond flour is thinner, so everything is kind of like sinking. So I'm glad I got a picture for y'all. But let me try to get y'all close up of what it looks like. And then my grits, I got some. Mmm. 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 But that's cilantro. That's really good. But in my um grits, I have cheese, some bacon bits. And some green onions. That I put inside the grits. And I just topped it with some kibasi. Little cheese, shrimp, cilantro, and green onions. Mmm. So right now, I think I'm working on, it's probably like about almost two o'clock here. In Cleveland, I didn't go to bed till five o'clock this morning and had to take the twins to work this morning at 8.30. After I had just went to bed at 5.30. 5 o'clock, I think. That's what I forgot to do, was put my brown butter drizzle on here. Don't forget the brown butter drizzle. Y'all see that in his recipe. And this is a cup and a half of almond flour. Which I'm not gonna. Mm. I'm shrimp, y'all. I can't even talk. <laughs> ease up, Nessa, ease up. Mm. 
I hate y'all can't see. And I could have probably got the camera up a little bit higher. But I told you, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Come here, y'all. Why? I started DoorDash, y'all. <laughs> I started yesterday. And I started for a little extra money. Because your girl pocket is just feeling real tight over here. And I don't like that feeling. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't like it. So, I had to do something about it. So, my job isn't, I usually do a lot of overtime, but right now, they're not offering any. And, you know, when they offer it, I take it and I kill it. <laughs> so, mm. Mm. I think I slobbed on that part. <laughs> But, y'all, my job is not offering it right now. So, when you do overtime like that, you get used to that money. And when it stops, I don't like looking at my regular check. <laughs> it's good, and I thank the Lord for it because it is a nice amount and blessings. But when you out here single on the ground... On your own with two children still in the home. And I have two older children. It gets hard. So I got to do what I got to do. And it's always a blessing to have multiple incomes. Always. Welcome to all my new subscribers. While well, I'm thinking about it, we have 4K, y'all. Not 4K. Speaking into existence, Nessa. <laughs> Speaking into existence. 1.4K. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But thank y'all. So, yeah, go on give me the 4K. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all. So, your girl been feeling the crunch, and I've just been trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Until they give me some more overtime. And y'all know I do Mary Kay and Tracy Lynn. Um, on the side as well. And my links for that is always down in my description. If you guys ever want to check my websites out. But I need more. <laughs> more income coming in. When you're an entrepreneur, you already know money don't come through businesses like that. So it's always good to have six, however many it takes. <laughs> so I signed up for DoorDash a while ago. I never did it. Had all the stuff here and just went out. My daughter, Nene, went out with me last night. And I made $100. And I had fun doing it. I didn't get in the house till one thirty. But... Yeah, I was tired. It was just from the driving. But I had been up all day, too, so. But it wasn't bad. And that's a nice little hustle. If anybody ever uh, looking for some extra money and you got a car, you need to be doing DoorDash. It's a nice little hustle to put some change in your pocket real quick.
And as I was out there, almost every restaurant that I went in, it was another DoorDash or two, a uh, driver sitting there waiting on order. So obviously a lot of people doing it. <laughs> to me, it was just a safer route than Uber. I signed up for Uber before. But one time my cousin got in my back seat. <laughs> and I got a big car, y'all. <laughs> a big back seat. But he, you know, built. And that was around the time I signed up for Uber. And when he got in my backseat, I said, if somebody your size get in my backseat, I ain't doing it. <laughs> so I never did it. But this way, nobody is getting in your car. It's you. Mm. To me, you control the situation a lot better than being an Uber driver. I don't know if you can cancel orders after you have already taken them. But if an address or something don't seem right to you, don't do it. I'm not going to do it. I did go on one street. That's somewhere you don't go. <laughs> after I was around Cleveland, but I did it. I called the customer, let her know I was about to pull up, be at the door, swoop, swoop, <laughs> and kept it moving. And the lights was out, because we had a storm here, y'all, in Cleveland. It was, it was trees down and everything. Some people still without lights. Y'all probably see a video after this when I tell y'all. Mm, sorry, Shell, that it's a storm and I had to hurry up and take. But, um, yeah, so it was a really good experience, y'all. So I got to fit that in my schedule now. <laughs> With everything else I'm trying to fit in there. But I met really nice people. I found some restaurants that I wasn't aware of. And y'all already know your girl had her business cards. So I met a couple people. I passed my card out to. Shout out to Anthony at the Juvenile Detention Center. He's an officer down there. We had a really nice conversation. Excuse me. While um, I waited on the officer to come downstairs. It took a minute. And Kate over at um, Nochi uh, Pizza. She let me and my daughter actually taste some pizza, and um, while and I talked to her while I had to get, um, got my order together, and while they got my order together and gave her a card. So shout out to Kate and Anthony, really nice people. I was um, sharing with Anthony that I remember doing my internship uh, for college at the juvenile detention center. So that's some real powerful work that you're doing down there. Because sad situations come through that. Very sad. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Because I don't want to make this video too long. But shout out to them. So long story short, I had a good trip. So I got to put that in my schedule. So that was, I got home at 1.30. Jumped on my girl Bites with Brie live. At about 2 o'clock in the morning. Sat on there with her for a, uh, probably about an hour in. Be love comes through the chat. Mm, 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 y'all. <laughs> and Bree just cried. It was so, oh my goodness, it was so cute. But she just cried because her birthday um, was September 9th. And I think in the next video I um, shot her out. But her birthday was September 9th. But, um, and I don't think B-Love knew that because we had to, you know, she had said something about it. So she told her happy birthday. But Bree just cried. <laughs> and B-Love said, 
that Brie was one of her day ones. And she remember that. And sometimes in this YouTube business, you can't really get upset if people don't come to your channel all the time because it's a hustle out here. And it's a lot of beautiful growing channels out here. And to try to get to everybody is is nearly impossible. <laughs> But you have your ones that you need that content. You need that inspiration. And that's why you pop up and you show up, whether it's here or there. So I don't know if V loves seeing her on the regular. I'm sure she saw her in the comments. But the fact that you got 2.1 million subscribers and maybe even more at this point, and you remember her, that is a blessing in itself. And it just shows how humble she is and how genuine she is. So that was my first interaction with her. And when I tell y'all, I loved it. She was in the chat for two hours chit-chatting with us. Y'all, we didn't get off of there. I, she probably left about 3.30 and I didn't leave till about 4. And I think they were still going. <laughs> but I told you I had been up. Because I dropped the twins off at 8.30 at work yesterday. And then took them to work and never went back to sleep. Then started DoorDash about 5.30. Oh, excuse me. I was just going. So your girl ain't had no sleep. And you see, I'm still going because I dropped them off at work. Now I'm doing a mukbang. <laughs> My cousin Monique is so funny. She called me this morning when she texted me. This morning by 8.30. And she said, I'm not really ready to get up. But my grandbaby, her grandbaby name is Zoe. If y'all go back to uh, my Key Delicious at, um, Chipotle. And I had Maya and Zoe on my channel. That little Zoe, she said she watched me all day long. So she said by 8 o'clock in the morning, she heard her in there at, uh, waking her mother up. Like, I know you sleep. But... I need you to spell keto lish. <laughs> it's keto licious with a K or a C. <laughs> and this is ongoing. She went to the first grade this year and she was in school trying to tell her uh her classmate that she's famous, but she couldn't pull my name up for nothing. So she came home telling her grandmother about it. But long story short, she texted me this morning talking about her and then I told her I did door dash. She said, girl, where do you find the energy? I just go, y'all. I just, I have to, you know, it's just in me. I try to sit down, but I can't. And sometimes I'm just not even productive in what I'm doing. I guess I am productive, but I feel like it's so much that I have to do and so much that I want to do. This grind just, it don't stop. It ain't just with um youtube is with my job that i've been on for 17 years i i have to still stay mentally ready to go in there and deal with corporate america you know what i mean still take care of my children still be there even for my two grown kids that have been out the house and they holding it down i love them and i appreciate them so much you know for just being strong women even with when they're going through you know what i mean i see them push through and that just lets me know that i did something right so Y'all, this grind is hard. And it was so good to just see B Love in there and talking to us and giving us advice and um, just being an inspiration to us. So if you see this, B Love, thank you so much for being so kind. Y'all, the conversation was so good. I ended up, I had some of that uh, crispy, crunchy chicken from the gas station. <laughs> I had just went on, heated that up, made me a salad. They was in there chit-chatting. I'm watching it, just eating. It was good conversation. Like, we had such a good time. So, I just thank you, beloved, for being, you know, so kind and sweet. And um, hopefully you got that information that you asked from us. So, you know, I just... I just... Even though I'm tired, y'all, I'm still gonna grind. I'm still gonna go. And um, I don't know. <laughs> If you are struggling and you need extra help, try DoorDash. <laughs>
Try DoorDash, y'all. It's simple. You pull up to the restaurant, it's already paid for, grab their food, and drop it off. People eating good out here, y'all. I mean, they eating sushi. I mean, I picked up sushi, pizza, uh, a shack. What's that? The burger place. Somebody got like a hundred dollar order from there. Like y'all eating good out here. I'm trying to eat with y'all. <laughs> so yes, DoorDash is it. They got Instacart. And I know my girl, um, J. Let's Eat does DoorDash. And I remember hearing her talking about doing that a while ago. And, um, uh, me and Tasted with Tia and Bree were in a, a chat, me and um, those two were in the chat talking about some things that we're trying to put together. And I was just telling Tasting with Tia that, you know, I'm struggling right now. It's just a lot going on. You know, I make good money. I'm doing good as far as taking care of my kids and my household, but it's that extra. You always want to have that extra and I'm not a good saver. So I'm trying to work on that. My two older kids save better than me and that that's a problem. So <laughs> I got to get it together. So, but, um, and she told me, she said, start DoorDash, you know, so this was Saturday morning. We were chit-chatting and by Saturday afternoon, your girl went in there and got her bag out the closet, got my bag, found my credit card and my card. Cause you have to have a credit card. They send you a credit card that some of the payments go on there and you use that when you go in. But I found all my stuff. <laughs> your girl was out there. So I'm probably going to sign up for Postmate. And whatever else I can pick up and just drop some stuff off, I'll do that too in between time. Just make y'all some little extra coins for y'all mukbangs or whatever you need it for. So just to save, put up, whatever it is. So never be too ashamed to go out here and do whatever it is. I, I've i been on my job again, 17 years, and I've ha even got a part-time job working at uh, Dollar Tree. And people that knew me in the community or whatever, they'd be looking like, that's it? Yeah, I'm in here. And I was, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I was sending all that stuff. <laughs> I was one of the fastest cashiers in there, okay? So I could do whatever. You put me to it, I will do it. So never be ashamed to go out here and make it happen for your family. I don't care what it is. Multiple streams of income is always, always a blessing to even be able to do because it's hard out here, especially for my single women that's out here. I'm single. I need to do this grind by myself. Because if ain't nobody stepping up and next to me trying to be on this same team, I got to do it, you know, and that's what I do. So let this be an inspiration to y'all. If you want to do DoorDash, go on out there and do it. So, but I love y'all. I know I done rambled on. This recipe was really good. It's filling. I ate all my shrimp and I think I got all my kibasi out of there. So all this is just great. So I'm not sure about the warm up process on it, but it should be okay. Add a little heavy whipping cream or something to it. So, but I love y'all. I'm just going on and on now and, and I got to go get my oil changed. See, I told y'all it never stops. Then pick the twins up from work. <sighs> it never stops. Never stops. Get ready for work Monday. Y'all, I love y'all. So, Thank y'all for coming and watching me. I love y'all always. Stay blessed. Keep it key delicious. And until next time, peace.